What's going on guys? So today is November 1st. Halloween was yesterday. Me and Eva are kinda a little sick. I don't know if we're sick or just old and hung over from Halloween or the day before Halloween. So we had hot pot. We're about to do hot pot again. Getting everything heated up, everything boiling. There we go. Taste the meat. Just kind of want to give an update. Got a little bit of a <clears throat> cough, throat thing. Feeling super like uh, drained. Just tired, man. I feel old. Not even that old, but I feel old. This month is going to be pretty busy. We got Thanksgiving coming around. Going to cook for the whole family. All of you with families coming. I'm excited about. And yeah. Second Thanksgiving here. This year, these were a little more settled in. I have a deal currently in escrow, which I'm super happy about, but uh, it's definitely been a little challenging going back and forth with fixing things that were wrong in the inspection report, going over it with clients and all the, that good stuff. But I, I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm growing a deeper appreciation for learning more and more. We'll see what, what entails and what, what goes on from here. So guys, today's Friday. This year's gonna fly by. The last of it at least. But uh, Illy's gonna get out of school. Gotta pick her up from the bus stop in about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. A little a little more, 50 minutes. Stop right here, playing with the toys. Oh man, it's been cold lately. Right now it's like 62, 64 outside. But inside it's like 64. It's pretty chilly. I'm gonna do uh, some ribs today for dinner. Prep them. I like to cook them for at least four hours, typically. Kind of guide you through how I make mine. All right, so usually come, I get it from Costco. It's like this long, cut it in half, just because it's easier to manage and I don't have a baking pan long enough. And then here, there's usually this little membrane. So you should really pull it off because it makes the meat chewy and it retains the fat and in this instance we don't really want that we want all the juices to come in and all the seasoning that I'm gonna put on both sides to go all the way in the meat so typically you just get a little corner and you just pull sometimes it's still moist so I'm getting up paper towel kind of what it looks like so the packet from Costco this is the st. Louis ribs um, comes in a three so it's pretty worth it although the price did go up but everything's gone up this the last six months really so since it's only three of us I'm gonna do this half we just do one slab basically so this is the other half of that slab and we're still probably going to have leftovers. get this off because this is gonna cook and kind of hold in that extra flavor it's just a thin layer of the membrane but this piece typically doesn't really have it because it has pieces of fat layered into it paper towels to pat it dry because whenever you marinate or season especially you put a rub on you want the meat as dry as possible because you don't want it to steam The other piece. A little bit of a secret is you put a thin layer of mustard. That will make sure all the spices will stick to the meat and you don't taste it. It cooks out. It really does. You don't taste mustard. I know it sounds weird. It looks weird. It's really not really makes a difference and you 
shouldn't be like super duper yellow and super wet. You should just basically make it sticky. That way when you are seasoning, everything sticks to it. All right, so we'll put this on this pan while we season this other stuff. Some people don't like to season the back of it. It's everyone's choice, but I do. And then these ribs, I'm gonna do some mash, saute broccoli, maybe some red onion. sure that when I make these, I have enough time because it's already three, I'm cutting it close. Usually I like these to go five hours, but today even gets off a little late. So I'll probably give Ilya a snack so that we can all eat together around eight o'clock. Typically I have these ready by, put them in at 12 or one. If I put them in at 12, I put them at a lower temperature so they can go longer without burning and drying out. to the oven at uh, 275 for four hours. I'm gonna check them and then probably crank it up just to get a nice, nicer color for the last 15, 20 minutes. And it should be. What's going on guys? Today's Saturday. Today I went to show a renter a house earlier. Right now I'm about to do an open house with one of uh, my realtor buddies named by Johnny. Uh, to this beautiful house. It's a, uh, huge house i'll show you guys in a little bit if you guys like it go ahead and uh shoot us a comment dm us something let me know so i'm at the open house one nine three one south del front court this house is huge four thousand square feet this is a kitchen with a wet bar Fireplace, but the entertaining area outside. Next level. So what's up, Johnny? Hello. Welcome. Jesus. Three AC units. What's up guys? Finally finished putting the lights on the tree. And now, getting the tree ready. Good. So we're not doing two trees this year, huh honey? No, no money. No money. I love a deadbeat husband. Oh god. We don't bring it home the baby. Oh god, alright, that's enough of that. Ain't no need for all that. Uh huh. I'm so sorry. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we decided not to do two trees this year. It's kind of a hassle. Especially if we have our our chair that we've had for years and that other bad boy over there. So we'd have to find a new space for that. Put the fake tree in that corner, and then put the real tree in the front like we did last year. And yeah, ain't nobody got time to do all that. Plus the cleanup was crazy. And last year, honestly, the tree died halfway through December. Not even, like two weeks after, for some reason it just stopped drinking water. And so it was like dead by the time Christmas came around. It was just constant sweeping and vacuuming. 
Ugh. Yeah, this year we're just doing one tree and put the presents around there so then they're not up here. Hopefully the dogs don't pee on the tree or the presents. But yeah, the Eva's sister and their family should be coming next week. I'm pretty excited. Haven't seen them. Well, I just saw them not too long ago because I went to SF. But Eva hasn't seen them in a minute, so it should be a lot of fun. Just wanted a little update. Kind of show how we're doing. This was all Halloween. Eva got it all ready for Christmas time. Mostly how it is. She's chilling. Wants to hang out, or wants to just not do much. And just play, play, play. What's up, guys? I don't know if you can see me. The light's kind of hitting me right on my face. Exciting news. Closed my first house. I uh, got everything done. Everything got signed. Final walkthrough was yesterday. Everything was good to the my clients. Now I'm heading to their home, their new home, to give them their keys. And... Yeah, I'm super excited for them. I'm so happy they got the house they wanted. I got them a great deal. And honestly, this was the best um, kind of win-win situation I could have asked for. So right now it's just to keep the ball going, keep it rolling, you know, get some more transactions. Definitely keep building the business, but uh, try to show you kind of what uh, the house looks like, or at least show you with the clients. All right, guys. Or else Evo will kick my butt. Because we have a vlog channel, so. So we. This was here, right? Should I throw it away? Oh, uh, yeah. What, what's with the dog pad? I don't here know. you go. Oh. Yes. Oh. Here you go, guys. <laughs> As a thank you for working with me and choosing me. Appreciate oh. you guys so much. Thank you so much. I don't have to open it no more. So that's your key. And then they said the rest of the key should be in the kitchen. Okay. One of the drawers. <laughs> Might be in one of those, I think. Might be. No? No. That one? Huh. No, that one. Did they not leave it or did they leave it in the garage? Uh, 